Okay, I guess. I don't want to go fishing again, god dang it. I caught two fish yesterday, shouldn't that count? We're gonna have to go fishing again, aren't we? How long must we stay here? And now we're down to just two people. Is it just gonna be me tomorrow? Oh, and there's still random encounters. Oh lord. And it's the same random encounters. Ow. Can I just flee? Hey. Maybe the uh, flea chance is modified out here to make it a little easier. Because if I have to fish a third time, and it's just me in the party, there's going to be a lot of fleeing involved. Also, that would be incredibly stupid. It's already kind of silly that they dragged it on quite like this, but whatever. Excuse me. I wonder if agility has a factor in fleeing because if it does that would mean she is the best possible I think I just ran backwards the best possible chance at fleeing any encounter because she's almost double everyone else's agility right now I think now we're back to the imperial castle apparently there is some flip-flopping going on here Moderately confused by the flip-flopping. Um, what's going on? Oh, hi. I know you. How's it going? Now what is he doing? Is it time we finally get to kill this dude? Because it's been way too long. What is this thing since we got to kill this guy? So we can turn into many things. Basic earth dragon, basic water dragon. Or this thing who has capped HP. I don't know what Cabo's weakness is. He looks kind of demonic. So like holy or something, but we don't have a holy dragon, so let's just use tyrant. Why not? Might be reasons why not, but you know, it seems powerful. Let's give it a whirl. Indeed. Ha. Ah. Ha. Ah. Fear mine shirtless power. I think that's what he would say. He used Flaming Fist and missed entirely. You don't even have fists. How do you do that? Alright, so we can Dark Wave, which will probably murder the crap out of him. We can Aura Smash, which is holy. Water, Wind, Earth, Death, Sanctuary. Lots of abilities. Uh, let's do Aura Smash, just to see what kind of damage that puts out, and then we'll do the Dragon Breath Attack thing to see what that does. Oh, this is fancy. I thought he was just gonna punch him, but... okay. 3.2k. Pretty good. And he missed. I'm not even sure he can hit me at this point. Although at the current rate we might actually run out of AP. Let's do Dark Wave. So it's 3.2k for the, the punch of doom from space. Let's see what this does. Which I might not be able to skip because I don't think we've actually used this before.
Okay. This is a little weird, but sure. Oh, wow, yeah, okay. You can stop damaging, there we go. You can stop hitting it now. Thank you. We're burning so much AP per turn though. 32 AP per turn to stay in this form. So this fight needs to end. And I don't know how much health this dude has, but every turn. Also that. Hooray. I'm back, although I don't think there'd, you know, be like a quarter of a second for you lot, but I've been gone quite a while, so I'm just sitting here on the you routed the enemy screen, apparently. I should have left during that animation, so probably let that animation play out. I got a super vitamin, apparently. Hooray. I don't know what good that'll do me, but whatever. He's gonna summon another thing. Okay. How many does he summon? Oh, it's this again, is it? And our AP has not been restored. I'm tempted just to go straight back into Tyrant, actually. Apparently it's faster than me. Okay. Fair enough, I guess, but whatever. I still wish this was a thing you could skip, because it's so short and meaningless, and then it has like the multiple camera angles for no reason. Look at this power that you've seen 74 other times. Oh right, it burns his AP to get into it too. Forgot about that. Let's take a few turns to... I should have done this before I transformed, but I forgot it burned AP to get into it. Take a couple turns to max out our AP is basically what I'm getting at there. Which is a terrible use of two wisdom fruit, but given how late into the game we are, I'm not sure how many other times we're going to be in control of Faolu. We're something like halfway through disc 3 or something, and I'm fully expecting that there's just not going to be any other instances where we control Faolu, considering where he is. Which is perfectly fine by me, because I don't really like the segments where we control him anyway. Because he's so ridiculously powerful. That... you need to stop spazzing so much, man. Eldritch Flame. We've seen this before. It makes as little sense as it does before. Yeah, I don't think they can hit me in this form. At least not easily. Which is perfectly fine, because I really do like this form. Mostly because it does astronomical amounts of damage every single turn. And it's free, technically. 32 AP per turn to do... 7k damage, maybe? I couldn't quite quickly count that, so someone else would have to do it for me, but maybe like 7k or so? Which is not an insignificant number. That's what my entire other party does to a group of enemies in a combo, and he does it by himself to a boss, so... He is a wee bit powerful. And it's dead. Hooray! We win. Look at how much more powerful we are than we used to be. Oh no, we leveled. 
I didn't see what his stats did, but we got another wisdom fruit back, so. I would just ask that. Are you done? Kill him. Kill him. Or he will kill himself. He immolated himself. Okay. Well, that's a way to go, I guess. Do you want to warp to the Inner Sanctum? Yes, please. I guess. I mean, I assume that's why we're here anyway, is to warp to the Inner Sanctum. Or go to the Inner Sanctum. And to kill everybody! Because I'm Faolu, and that's what Faolu does. There's a chest. Do I pick it up? Or do I leave it? Hmm. I'm gonna leave it. Faolu has no needs for need of chests. Really? You're gonna fight me? I guess that is your job, but... Really? These guards have the same stats as the one from the beginning of the game, don't they? Whereas Mr. Faolu here does not have the same. Also, yes, I just realized how much X uh, XP it takes to get him to the next level after that. That's not absurd at all. I wonder what it takes to get from 98 to 99. Or whatever the cap is in this game. That's not eerie music. I say, are you there? He's got a sweet hat. Out of this whole scene, that's what I've determined. He's got a sweet hat. The Dragon Slayer. Is that the name of the sword, I guess? I guess if you want to kill a god dragon, a dragon slayer would be the means of doing so. Does he ever open his other eye? At any point in the game, does he ever have both of his eyes open at the same time? Hello. He has friends. His friends have little jingly bells. Fear the jingly bells, apparently. 
So we have Elite Troops and Diviner. And of course, uh... Like how tough are these? I don't know, let's just try hitting them and see what happens. Oh. Alright, well they don't do a whole lot of damage. Takes them a while to do it. But they do infinitely more than I do. Can I at least hurt the Diviner and Evoker? Or should I just... Can I transform into a dragon? Well, I guess I could. Let's go to Behemoth. Give that a whirl. I thought I wouldn't be able to transform as long as they were on the field and then it said something like you need the power of the dragon to break the seal or some bollocks. I was moderately confused. It's alright though, we're fine. Wait, we have 10k HP, but it didn't say we would have 10k HP. Confused, slightly. You guys take forever for your turns. Also, I'm not sure how that would affect someone who can fly, considering it basically just dropped them, but whatever. Took a lot of damage there. What can we do? We can Meteor Strike. We can Searing Sand, level 2, level 3, and Counter. Let's just do a Meteor Strike and see if it just kills them all. I do wish I was slightly faster though, maybe I should have gone with the more expensive Dragon, which has way better stats. This one has high defense, but it seems like it has really, really bad speed. Or agility or whatever. Same stat for all intents and purposes. Oh. Okay. That's not what I was expecting to see. This is something like what I was expecting to see, but I wasn't sure about the, uh, the whole behemoth thing. Like the eye glimmer. Nice touch. He's got some hops. Oh, he comes down with the meteors too. Nice. And all that remains is an evoker, apparently. You are, for some reason, slightly stronger than the rest of your friends. So, I'm gonna just... I'm just gonna punch you in the face, okay? Apparently you're gonna use Quake on someone who's technically flying. Again, seems like something that would affect him. It missed, so maybe it doesn't affect him, who knows. What I do know is that that just evaporated that guy. So, you know, evaporation is pretty good for removing enemies. He's a quick one. Do I need to restore AP or anything? I'm gonna go ahead and use a couple Wisdom Fruits, get our AP back to full, just in case we have yet another, essentially, boss encounter. You know, it hasn't chained enough of them back to back where we need to transform into a dragon, but whatever. You have failed. Oh.
I hear he turns around. Oh, oh my. Look what you've done. You probably should have done something slightly better than just stab him in the side with it. Like, you know, maybe slash him a few more times while you're at it. Ryu. We're fishing again. And thankfully it's not me this time failing the fishing, it's the AI failing the f well not the AI, but you know what I mean. You're in love with Cray. Oh, I thought she was gonna say with him. But at least I'm not that bad at fishing. I completely forgot we were actually here to look for Alina. It's the entire point of this story, basically. Well, the entire founding point of this story is to find Alina, and I forgot about that. I'll just go over here and fish some more. Don't mind me. He's strong, I'll give him that. He's a bit slow, though. I like how she's basically doing this long, like, confession of love. And Ryu's just like, yeah, I'm fishing. Leave me alone. Now I get to run back for the third time. Is it third time? Second time? Second time, because we just came here the first time to fish, which is why they give you a fishing rod. So you're not just stuck using the basic wooden rod, which is nowhere... There's a chest down there, I saw it. Escape! Hooray! How did I not see that chest before? Like, look at that. How did I not see that? Oh, because the camera normally is rotated the other way when I come through here, if I could navigate this stupid pile of crap. Oh, I don't want to do any of these encounters. We've already been going on. I don't know how long we've been going on because I got interrupted a bit there, so... Oh, yay. So we're going to grab this chest, avoid as many battles as we possibly can, and get back to camp. Hopefully reach a point where we can save without too much issue. Look, he's been pollinated. I have no idea what that means. Game. You were able to flee. As there's probably somewhere it tells you what that is. We found crabs, okay, in a chest, whatever. Uh, but I wish it just told you above the character's head rather than just the icon. Like, it would pop up the icon that says you're blind, but then it would pop up text when it occurs that said blind or poison or whatever. That would just be nice. to keep me from being quite so confused all the time, although I'm still me, so I'm always going to be confused. That's not really the thing. I just, you know, I like having information visible. Also, why can't we fish here? There's water here. Surely there's fish here. Also, this is the first random encounter we've had here, just noticed. Has there always been random encounters here, or is it just now? And I've just been getting really lucky. I'm going to assume they've always been there, and I've just been getting really lucky. We're back. How's everyone doing? Yeah, 
I didn't catch any fish because I wasn't in control of fishing. You're already sleeping. Alright, well, I presume we're supposed to rest here in order to continue the story because the book is sitting right here. So, I'm going to go ahead and... I, s I don't actually know if it's going to give me the option to save after I rest. Hmm. Well, we'll go ahead and just save it rather than rest, and next time we'll go ahead and rest and move on. Fools and men, indeed. So next time, I have no idea what's going on, because I have no idea where we are in the story anymore, because we've been on this island for about a billion years. So stuff is going to happen, and things, and it'll be exciting. So see you then!